Hello miners and this is part five of the Rusty Miner Folding Hunter series. Now I said in video four that this knife was the king and this knife is the buck 110. Why then was this in video four and this one is in video five? And what is this one? Well this is a Leatherman Nehalem, N-E-H-E-L-A-M, Leatherman Nehalem. They made them in 2007, 8, and possibly 2009 as a luxurious hunting knife. And we have 154 CM steel. Let's see if we can see that. It's indicated here. So one day, old Rusty, this is a cyber week, you know, weekend of Thanksgiving, week of Thanksgiving. I drive by a store, I see this sign, says, all knives, 30% off. I go in there. It's a brand new sporting store. It's not a pawn shop. And I see a couple knives, and this is one of them. And I don't recognize this knife, right? And I'm not really excited about it, because this handle's pretty darn big here. Uh, but I see Leatherman on it. And the price was crazy. So retail, they had it at $45. And you know what 30% off is. So I decided, hey, I can't go wrong, right? It's a Leatherman with 154 steel. Maybe I can get it in the low 30s. So I grabbed it. And they had no box for it. And they had no case for it. It comes with a camel nylon sheath. Okay. So it's going to be really hard. I knew it was going to be hard to find one. But I said, what the heck. I'll still take it. It's a Leatherman. And uh, I'm glad I did. And we'll get more into some of that. But it's definitely a collector's knife. So how is it as a hunting knife? Well, it's got a four inch blade. I'll put the description on there. Hollow grind, 154 cm. We got some jimping on here. Very, very uh, effective jimping. And nice big uh, pivots. And if I press the mid back, you'll see the blade disc falls under its own weight. And reach up here, close it. That was nice and smooth. And that's how we're looking for centering. It's a tad to what uh, normally would be the, the lock side. Um, nylon type handle, but it's rubberized on this piece right here. So it's soft, it's sticky right through here. Okay. Take a look at this side. Now, what is this thing here? Well, you guys know Leatherman. What are they known for? Multi-tools. So, what we have here is a diamond sharpener. So, we pull that out. And it takes a It's hard to do here. Ah, here we go. We pull that out. And that exposes a diamond sharpener. So it's flat. Oop. It's flat where my thumb is. And it's round the rest of the way. And I'm going to guess this might be for fishing hooks or something like that. But that's the Leatherman diamond sharpener for the Nahalem. Now you're going to have trouble finding this knife. Uh, I've been looking to see if I can find one just to get some comparable uh, prices and you really can't find this knife. They made four of them. They made one called the Steens, one called the Kahalam, that's K-L-A, oh Kalmath, Kalmath. Uh, this is a Nephalm, Nef Nephalm, and they made one called the Selway. And I've seen some of them uh, for sale on Amazon. The one that's smaller than this with 420HC 
bring in 600 bucks. They made two fixed blades. It's the same kind of a knife, same blade and shape and everything. It's just a fixed blade and then a saw will come out. You can pull a saw out here and they're running 900 bucks uh, for that. But I like this one, the Folding Hunter. Feel very lucky to get this and it's not done yet guys. So we're going to go ahead. What do you do after you get your deer kind of cut into your deer? Well, you should use a gut hook. And we take a peek, this, and we'll push that out. And this is your gut zipper. So you just, once you get your deer opened up, you can unzip it. You can, un, you can then dress your deer. So we're going to do a little sharpness test on this. See if we got any. All right. Yep. Yep. Hard to say. It's thin, right? This isn't really cut to no way to sharpen that, but it's thin right through there. And let's close it up. This part locks in securely anyways. I mean, there's some wiggle there, but it's not going to come open. Let's go ahead, see how we cut. All right, so well, that's good. That's actually better than uh, a lot of the other knives I've done in this series. Not maybe as good as the Kershaw or the Buck. Those two were sharp. And speaking of those two, Better bring them out. There's your buck, 110. So you guys can see, pretty monstrous knife. In fact, when I got a sheath for this, I had to find one in the six inch tall. Leatherman, I called Leatherman, and they are great by the way, but they don't have any sheath. I wanted a sheath. They got sheaths for the Wave, you know, and all their other multi-tools. Um, they don't have a six inch. They got their four and a half inch, but that sucker is six inches from tip to tail. Uh, now what Rusty did is he noticed there's only a couple reviews on this and a couple of these knives for sale and they're all missing this piece. Uh, in fact, the very first day I got this, uh, I was kind of playing with it on the ride home and lo and behold this piece fell onto the floor of my truck and so I noticed right away hey I got to pay attention to that diamond sharpener and so what I did is started shopping for a sheath and all that stuff let me find out what I do and uh, I have a bunch of these I got them off of Amazon there for sunglasses. Hey Matt, how are you? I know we got uh, the same idea. So what I decided to do is I would put my knife in the sunglass holder until I found a sheath. Then I went to Amazon and I found something known as a flashlight sheath. So this is for the flashlight and then I left the knife in the sunglass holder and uh, it's going to keep that little diamond rod in there and then you're still going to carry it. So this is not a quick draw knife, right? This is a hunting knife. So when you take out this knife, all right, you're working on something that's dead. You don't need to quick draw it and you're going to process it. So that's what this is about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this is one of Rusty's finest collection here the hunt uh, so I'm very happy to have this knife very rare thanks guys bye